data analysis of over 80 studies that basically told us what we've kind of suspected all along is that when it comes to your health, vitamins may not be the win that we would like it to be. Now, they looked at vitamins that we're commonly used to hearing about, vitamins D, vitamin K, a multivitamin, calcium, and they said that when it comes to reducing your risk of deaths from cancer or cardiovascular disease, these vitamins are not beneficial to you. There's no evidence to suggest they are. You balance that with the nearly $50 billion industry that the vitamin companies are, uh, you kind of have to say maybe there are other ways that we should be spending our money. So when is it a legitimate use? Like when do vitamins play an important role? Well, this particular study does not include women who are pregnant or women who are trying to get pregnant because they need to be on those prenatal vitamins. It also doesn't include people who their doctor has checked and said that you are deficient in certain vitamins. Additionally, people who are on restrictive diets, such as vegans or people who have certain surgical procedures, they still need to be on vitamins. So this particular finding is relating to people who are sort of average health without any of those other extremes. So what about vitamins and danger? Like when do we know that it would be dangerous for us to take a vitamin? Well, if you're on certain medication, I mean, it, it underscores mm -hmm. the importance of discussing with your doctor, even if you're taking an over-the-counter supplement, because if you take medications, say perhaps for depression, some of those medications, along with the multivitamin, can be hazardous to your health. Also, if you take oral contraception, if you are on St. John's Ward, that medication may not be as effective. And also, if you take certain blood pressure medications with, say, iron supplements, that blood pressure medication may not be working at its best. So always talk with your doctor, even if you're taking these supplements or vitamins. So if you are trying to feel better, are there alternatives to taking a vitamin? Well, I think we all would like to have the magic pill to do the things sure. that we need it to or want it to do. But there's no substitute for good food and exercise. So instead of trying to extract the essence of the orange, eat the orange because you're going to get not only that vitamin C, you're also going to get the fiber and those other antioxidants that are so helpful to your health. So again, eat the food, do the exercise. There's no easy way out. Uh, it always is down to the basics, Dr. Exactly. C. Thank you so much.